Okay, uh, so in the last speeches and obviously the speeches throughout the entire thing, they've been uh, saying many different things. One thing that I will extend from what my associate was mentioning is that there is no significant issue or problem at the time. One of the things that they were mentioning is how um, the inhumane use of weapons, uh, especially chemical weapons, is the reason why we should attack. I posit that inhumane use of weapons is any weapon that can kill a person. How about, how about a bullet? How about guns? How about bombs? Now all of those can kill people and all of those have been used a lot more throughout history and killed a lot more people than 1400 throughout history. Bullets especially. So in that essence, I don't believe that even the use of chemical weapons, some people have even said it, that is a, a actually more humane way to die because in the end you don't have to bleed out and hurt in that regard. Uh, let's see, so attack for a clear message uh, in order to make sure that nobody else do, does it again in the future. Once again, uh, extending what my uh, associate said, there really is no way that we can guarantee that it won't be done in the future in any case, especially using the point that North Korea has still, uh, at this point, been testing their nuclear weapons and obviously nothing's going to deter them from doing that. So in essence, there is really no point to even go ahead and jump at that. Um, no military boots on the ground is what they mentioned. No American lives will be lost. Uh, well, uh, reference to that same quote I had with uh, uh, Army General Martin E. Dempsey. Later on in the quote, he does mention not only will the cost be $1 billion per month, but the impact would be that we won't even control all of the chemical weapons if we were to do it, and also that there will be an added risk of boots on the ground due to the uh, airstrikes that need to be done. There will be planes in the air, and Assad does have ways to bring those planes down. So if it so happens that pilots do come down inside of Syria, we will have to put rescue units on the ground. Uh, let's see, moving on also, where he speaks about um, the, the cost of lives, 1,400 lives were lost. Now, I will concede to that point, 1,400 lives were lost in the overall attack. Now, a war, which obviously would be something that we would uh, do with missile strikes, which would be included in uh, the powers of war, really, we would lose a lot more than just 1,400. I referenced back earlier why I said more than 30,000 American lives were lost in the Korean War by itself. Now, if we're using this as a point to try and deter North Korea, and they still don't even listen to us, even when we threaten to attack, um, then really, in essence, there is no point to that. Um, similar to that, the last time that uh, North Korea and South Korea had an issue, uh, the United States did actually put their muscle into effect, and it seems like it actually did something. North Korea did back down. Now, it wasn't only because the United States, uh, China, did put political pressure on North Korea in order to back down, but the result was the same. They did back down. So, in essence, a military strike wasn't needed at that point, which a military strike won't be needed in the future in order to prove our resolve. Let's see, moving on to uh, what my uh, associate also mentioned, uh, more than a thousand people today will die from automotive accidents, and that's the United States. Now, 1,400 people, I do understand that's a lot, but by the end of this speech, that means there'll be about two people that have died from a car accident. Now, similar to that, there are other issues, uh, you know, you speak about health issues that kill even hundreds of thousands more people. Now, this is all in the United States. We need to concentrate at home on everything that we're doing here, not concentrate on international pressure for, uh, for countries to just basically back down. Uh, now, listen, there's one last thing that I will definitely show and I'll prove to you. Now, there's one thing that we'll never ever be able to get back, and those are American lives. In my hand, I hold four pages of an 80-page document that shows every single American life that was lost within the last 10 years in the Afghanistan and Iraq war. 10 years, 80 pages in five font. That will definitely tell you that if we were to attack and things were to occur, Time. we would lose more American lives. That is not needed. Please vote negative.